All right, so we've introduced the notion of a logical proposition. Um, and in a computer, when you have a digital signal carrying a one or a zero, that can be thought of as representing the truth value of a proposition. So what we need to do now is uh, start learning about logical operations. So the first operation we're gonna learn is actually a unary operation, which means uh, that it acts on one input, uh, and it's called the negation. So we'll define the negation of a proposition P as uh, notated like this, uh, which can be said not P, or the negation of P, okay? And that is a proposition with the exact opposite truth value. So uh, to describe what it is that this operation does, we can build what's called a truth table. A truth table is essentially uh, a table of values for an operation. So um, we're gonna have uh, an input, in this case being that it's a unary operation, it's gonna have one input, that's uh, the proposition P, or the truth value of P. So we're gonna have a column for the variable P, and it has two possible values, just true and false, like that. And then we'll have one output, which is the negation of P, not P, like that. And so that has, would have the outputs false when P is true, and true, when p is false. So this truth table um, describes everything you need to know about the operation. That, that tells us how it works in every possible situation. There's only two situations, um, inputting true or inputting false. So there we go. Um, so that's the negation of p. We're gonna go over a couple of examples. Uh, so first, um, let's, let's say p is the proposition, the room contains at least 10 people. Let's try to find out what not p would be. Um, and we're gonna try to express not p verbally so that we understand what it means. Now, uh, first let's think about what this is saying. Uh, at least 10 people would mean 10 or more, right? So, if, uh, so we could express this uh, mathematically by saying the number of people in the room, n, is greater than or equal to 10. So now what we need to do to describe the, the negation of this is the exact opposite of that, which means that it has to be false whenever this proposition is true, and it has to be true whenever this proposition is false. So the exact opposite of n greater than or equal to 10 is gonna be n strictly less than 10. So one of them is greater than or equal, and the other is strictly less. Right, that's how you would negate this. And so the way we can describe that in words, not P, would be uh, that the room contains, perhaps we could say, uh, fewer than 10 people. And that's our negation, okay? Let's look at another example. This one's a little more complicated. This time the, the proposition is uh, Q. I am tired and hungry. Now, we need to figure out what the opposite of that would be. The, not the opposite, let's, let's use correct words, the negation. Uh, the negation of that is gonna be true whenever this is false and false whenever this is true. Well, if this, is, if, if this requires, in order for a Q to be true, it requires that you be, or that I be tired and hungry. To make that false, the least you would need is either not tired or not hungry, or of course both right? If you're not tired, then this would be false, even if you are hungry. If you're not hungry, this would be false, even if you are tired. And of course, if you're not tired and also not hungry, then, uh, then, this, is, uh, then this is definitely false. So the way that we can write that, the way we can write not Q, is to say, I am not tired or not hungry. All right, there we go. So by the way, this, the fact that the, uh, the initial proposition had an and, and the uh, resulting negation includes the word not twice, but also um, involves the word or, that is actually an example of something called De Morgan's Law, which we're gonna go over in much more detail soon. Um, and also we're gonna discuss the operations and and or in the next video. Uh, one more thing I want to mention before we uh, before we move on here is that the this negation operation is self-inverting. So that means that if you negate a proposition and then take the resulting proposition and then negate that, you get the original proposition back again. Negation is really analogous to like negative 
in, uh, in the algebra of real numbers. So if you take a number and you make it negative, and then you take that number and you make that negative, the double negative cancels out, right? And you get back to the original number you started with. So it's like this, uh, this that notion of opposite sign in uh, uh, you know for numbers. Um, all right, so that'll do it for negation. We're going to work with negation a lot, um, but this is just an introduction.